دوام که حالا یه هوا باشه میو چای باشه اون کپر داشت دبل آرز می تیجز دی پاسل دین آلدرز دی گرگ میلستون پیس و مرسی تو دی الیکت که دی آسو دیوی بی بورن اگن دی جنریشن انشالله وام تو دی ون ثردی آشو رولو who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage, were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the plagues that are coming upon Babylon the Great, or what is known as America in the Bible. Now, the plagues that are coming upon Babylon is a prophecy that uh, comes um, from all over the Bible, right? There is uh, Babylon the Great, even though it's going to have a quick downfall or, or end destruction, it's going to be plagued uh, for a while, right? And uh, let's go ahead and uh, read that. This is uh, 2nd Ezra 16 and 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloth of sack and hair. Bewail your, ch your children, and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away. Well, there's a article that I read that talks about a, a plague of grasshoppers or what the Bible referred to as locusts that is falling upon America. Okay? Uh, and this just came out uh, recently, man. And this is all due to the uh, the the drought that is happening here on the west coast right uh here in california uh you know down here in south california you know you, you hear about it on the news you don't really see too much of it but you know obviously it's gonna affect the, the crops and everything and just yesterday man it was 104 degrees out here where i'm staying at man it was hot i couldn't even go out until about like three o'clock in the afternoon to do it in the yard work but uh, that being said, you know, these, these uh, locusts that are now going to be plaguing Babylon, they're now affecting the, the uh, already uh, um, hurting farm, farmers, right, that are hurting from the drought, right? And, uh, and this is only going to make things worse. But let's go and read the article, and uh, we'll break it down in a bit. It says, it says they're everywhere. Mega drought sparks grasshopper plague in western U.S. By now, it's become quite evident that the western half of the U.S. is facing one of the worst mega droughts in decades. We've spoken about fallow land and drying up reservoirs, but the question remains, what happens next? Well, it's not great, and it's straight out of the playbook from the 1930s Great Depression when the same parts of the U.S. were transformed into a desert, right? Let me read that again. Transformed into a desert, triggering a grasshopper plague. AP News said federal agricultural officials are set to launch one of the largest grasshopper killing campaigns in three decades amid the outbreak. The insect long to the sub saboro califaria family and are probably the most ancient living group of chewing arboreal insects right so these are the same animals the same insects that the lord brought upon egypt right let's read that it says this is exodus 10 and 12 and yahweh bashim Shai said unto moses stretch out thine hand over the land of egypt for the locusts, that they may come up upon the land of Egypt and eat every herb of the land, even all that that hail hath left. And Moses stretched forth his rod over the land of Egypt, and Yahweh Shai brought an east wind 
upon the land all that day and all that night. And when it was morning, the east wind brought the locusts. And the locusts went up all over, over all the land of Egypt and rested in all the coast of Egypt. Very grievous were they. Before them there was no such locusts as they. Neither after them shall be such. So you see, so the Lord, uh, just as he used these insects to plague Egypt, he's now using another form of, of insects, you know, these grasshoppers, to uh, plague Babylon the Great, which is spiritually known as Sodom in Egypt, right? And again, and this is all biblical, right? Because <clears throat> the thing about the Bible, just like that famous idiom that says history always repeats itself, well, that's true with, with, the, with the Bible, right? And also the biblical prophecies and biblical events. And why is that? Well, because not only do uh, humans, right, people reincarnate, but you have same, you have places that reincarnate in the spirit, right? Like you had Sodom before, the physical Sodom that was over there in the land of, of around Israel, right? Around the land of uh, um, the, the, the Sea of Jordan, right? But now it's reincarnated here in America as spiritual Sodom, right? Well, same thing, right? America now has been reincarnated as spiritual Egypt as well. And with that, this is why you, you see the, the cities like Mississippi, Memphis, you know, um, all these things right here that all have to do with Egypt. Well, because of that, the Lord has reincarnated, right, brought back these same events that had happened before. Because again, this is another scripture that goes into that. This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Right? And the Lord, again, because the Lord is playing a, a, a filtering system here, man. <clears throat> And he has certain sets of tools that he has to bring forth certain events. So the Lord is not going to, you know, he could, if he wanted to, go, you know, go out and make a whole new thing. Like he did that with women being over men. But the thing is, is the Lord doesn't have to do that. So what does he do? He continues to bring, bring forth the same type of judgments, the same events. And these grasshoppers plaguing Babylon the Great are simply, it's the same script that he did for Egypt. Because again, Egypt was that place that it was our first captivity of the Israelites, that being the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, right? Before we were known as those names, right? Back when we were just known as, uh, you know, the, the secular history calls us, called us the Hyksos back then, right? We simply called ourselves the Hebrew Israelites back then, right? And just like we do today, those that are in the know that is. Well, let's go and continue with this. With this. These creatures survive in multiple, multiply rapidly in drought in very dry conditions and will decimate crops. Before we dive further into the grasshopper plague, the latest data of the U.S. drought monitor shows much of the western half of the U.S. is in some form of drought. Some places are more severe than others, but many of these lands produce an immense amount of farm goods. Right? And that's true, right? Because California, for the most part, is the breadbasket of America. You, America gets the majority of its fruits from California. Right? I'm down here in uh, the Los Angeles Riverside area, right? But whenever I drive up, or I used to drive up to San Francisco, you would always go uh, through the five freeway, and you would always pass these huge farms, man, in in the in mid California. But, uh, you know, in the last few years, the times that I had gone up to San Francisco, um, you see nothing but, you know, you see a bunch of signs of farmers who are complaining about not having enough water to feed, feed uh, their fields, man, and blaming the politicians for creating a desert, you know? And like, they'll, they'll be like a farmland, which is like, has a bunch of dead trees, and it says, Thanks your, thank your politicians for creating a California desert. Well, that's an example of like one of the signs I would see, right? So these grasshoppers are only going to make that worse, right? 
And all of this is all ultimately a judgment of the Lord to, to bring forth uh, that famine that will come upon Babylon the Great, right? which is another future prophecy. Continuing, so back to insect plagues where um, AP spoke with a resident, Frank Wadrick, of center, central Montana's Phillips country, who said grasshoppers are springing up on his ranch. They're everywhere, Wardrick said. Drought and grasshoppers go together and they are cleaning us out. If extreme drought conditions continue in parts of the U.S., harvest this year could be severely impacted. The United States Department of Agriculture has pushed a map of grasshoppers spreading across the region of the western half of the U.S. And look at look at all these things, man. They're all right now basically just eating up most of the uh, of the uh, you know what is it midwestern uh, farmland, man. Right? This is where a lot of the wheat comes from. Agricultural officials have have seen this year's infestation coming after a 2020 survey found dense concentrations of adult grasshoppers across about 555,000 square miles. 141,000 square kilometers in the west. A 2021 grasshopper hazard map shows densities of, of at least 15 insects per square yard in large areas of Montana, Wyoming, and Oregon, and portions of uh, Idaho, Arizona, Colorado, and Nebraska. Left unaddressed, federal officials said the agricultural damage from grasshoppers could become so severe it could drive up beef and crop prices. So there you go, man. You see just more things coming to hit the, the food supply here, man. We're already going through that, uh, you know, supposed hacker attack on the JPS, uh, you know, meat producers, right? Which is now causing meat to go up. You're having the shut down, the purposely shut down um, you know, uh, farms by the, the, the beef producers of America going on, which is also going to make uh, beef production and meat, just meat production in general. They've done this with pigs and, and chickens and, and, you know, basically farms all across the United States because they're basically shutting down America, right? But this is, this is ultimately the, the coming destruction that's going to fall upon uh, America, right? And a lot of people out there are going to be caught uh, unaware, right? They're going to be caught in 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 uh, with their pants down for the most part, right? Because it tells you here in Jeremiah 51 and 8, it says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Hell for her, take balm for her pain. If so, being she may be healed, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, every one into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yahweh Bashimashai hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the works of Yahweh Bashimashai, our power. Right? And that's what's happening, man. The Lord is going to ultimately take down America for the wickedness of the people who have, who have run it, right? These Edomites, these so-called Caucasians, right, which biblically are known as the Edomites, who have ruled the whole world in wickedness and who have destroyed it, right, from the air, the water, the food, the people that are upon the earth, right? The, you know, animals are, are, you know, destroying themselves, man. You have mass extinctions of, of species all under the, 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 leadership of the so-called white people out on the planet, right? Or more accurately, the Edomites, which the Bible says these people would be in power uh, during, you know, before the second coming of the Messiah, and that they would have the whole world in a destroyed state, right? And they would have everything morally upside down. Well, these things that we're seeing, man, these grass, these, these plagues of grasshoppers, that are going across uh, America. This this isn't just some random, you know, uh, you know, 
love season for these grasshoppers. No, man, this here is a plague sent upon America by the Lord himself, right? And a lot of people aren't going to realize this because they're going to just listen to the statistical news and they're going to see it as if it's just something to be handled by chemicals or, you know, the agricultural, you know, arm of the U.S., right? But see, a lot of people, they're going to see this and they're going to remember the plagues that hit Egypt, right? And besides Egypt, you had all these other plagues that have hit all over the world, the world, man. Syria, Egypt, right? Like it tells you in that in that scripture I read, man, that the Lord is going to bring the plagues upon the, these nations, man, these other heathens, right? Because now He's going to start to plague them, uh, you know, before He destroys them. So with all that, I just want to touch upon this, you know, show you Rakim what's going on around the world. So until next time, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rukh Kadash. Double honors my teachers, the apostles and the elders, the great millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.